The key piece to modular loading dock design is a product called the Dock House. It's a product that takes the dock leveler, the bumpers, the shelters, or whatever dock equipment you need and easily adds it or subtracts it from any building. This is the Dock House. It's a fully contained modular loading dock system. It includes the dock plate, it can contain the vehicle restraint, an enclosure, a dock sealer shelter, or whatever your current standard is for loading dock equipment, all packaged in a modular system. Now, the dock plate that's on the inside can be longer or shorter based on the service range and the vehicles that you need to load or unload at your building. The idea, you take this simple package and you add it to the building. You maintain the existing door closed on the building floor. You don't lose any of the square footage of the facility that's inside of this building. There are no changes done to the building. In fact, the employees on the inside probably don't even know that they're getting a loading dock added, which is incredibly different than if you bust the floor and add a pit inside the building. That process can take two weeks, create a layer of dust that you're never going to get rid of, and it's a permanent change to that facility. So let's say this is a dock that you need to add. Fully contained, shows up almost like this. Very simply unloaded from a trailer and bolted to your dock in a day. So now, within one day, you have a functioning loading dock. So now let's say business is good, business is expanding. So now you need a second dock position. Within a day, you now have two docks. So again, as it's simply bolted on in the first dock position, now it bolts on again in the second. These can vary in size and shape based on what the needs are of this operation. So let's say that the, the dock plate needs to be even longer than the one that was put on in this condition. Well, we can make them bigger. We can make them smaller. We can make them match what you need. So the third dock position is a larger dock. One of the other significant benefits to adding a loading dock to the outside of a building is you create a vestibule. The reason this is important is that your dock door that's already existing is sealing on the concrete floor, not allowing any of your heating or cooling to escape through the deck of an existing dock plate that might be cut into the floor. So by adding the dock house on the outside, you create that vestibule to keep your energy where you need it. Based on energy studies that we've completed, you can estimate that you'll save around $2,500 per dock position by putting the dock on the outside of the building, allowing your door to seal on the concrete building floor and not on top of a steel dock plate.